Hey folks, welcome again to one of the most enthralling, enlightening and entertaining session of Science as Camper for classes 6 to 8. And I am your super science teacher Ambika. At Educator, we always empower all our students as how to think and not what to think. So if you want to experience the same, it's the right time to subscribe to the Educator's YouTube channel. The subscription button is just given below guys. If you like our video, don't forget to press the like button and ensure to hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates from EduCatUp. Now without any further delay, let's start today's session and the topic for the day is Some Natural Phenomena Yes, some things which happen naturally and are not under human control that we are going to discuss in this chapter. So the topics are Lightning Charging by rubbing Types of charges and their interaction Transfer of charge, the story of lightning, lightning safety, lightning conductors, earthquake, what causes an earthquake and protection against earthquake. Now let's start. Now lightning, one of the most beautiful but dreadly scenarios which we see during rainy season is lightning which happens in the sky. The sparks, you know that the Greeks knew about these like first the Greeks knew about the sparks the ancient Greeks knew as early as 600 BC that when amber amber is a kind of a raisin was rubbed with fur it attracted light objects such as here that means there are some charges which are being transferred in 1752 Benjamin Franklin an American scientist showed that lightning and the spark from our clothes are essentially the same phenomenon that means whatever lightning we see in the sky is actually the charges is actually the electric current which we see in the sky and it happens because of the rubbing. They, we can see that lightning, okay? Now charging by rubbing, how charges are acquired on an object because of rubbing? A plastic refill is rubbed with polythene, okay? It acquires a small electric charge. Similarly, when a plastic comb is rubbed with dry hair, it acquires a small charge. When you comb your dry hairs, your comb acquires a certain charge. And immediately, if you bring your comb near to, you know, small bits of paper, the bits of paper will be attracted by the comb because it has acquired charge by rubbing and rubbing of the scalp, the dry hair. Now, types of charges and their interaction. So, basically, if both the objects are charged, then what possibilities can be there? If both have the same kind of charge, they will repel each other. If they have opposite charges, they will attract each other. Okay. And if one is charged and the other is uncharged, then there will be nothing. So the electrical charges generated by rubbing are static. They do not move by themselves. When charges move, they constitute an electric current. Now, transfer of charge. How charges are transferred? Electroscope. It is a device which can be used to test whether an object is carrying charge or not. And earthing is the process of transferring of charge from a charged object to the earth. Now, what happens if you put the object on this brass disc of the electroscope and if the charge, if the object is carrying any charge, positive charge or negative charge, the gold leaves will diverge. And if there is no charge, they will converge and be straight. So it can be detected through electroscope whether an object is carrying charge or not. Now action packed info. Earthing is provided in buildings to protect us from electrical shocks due to any leakage of electric, electrical current. So earthing is provided in buildings to protect us from electrical shocks due to leakage of electrical current you know there should be no electrical shock which can be got uh, catched by any person so there is process of earthing that means jo bhi charges hain wo earth mein chale jayen earthing ka connection hamesha hota hai to save human life from danger of electrical shock or death, to protect buildings, machinery and appliances under fault conditions, to ensure that all exposed conductive parts do not reach a dangerous potential, and to provide safe path to dissipate lightning and short circuit currents, to maintain the line voltage constant to prevent overcurrent or excessive voltage on the appliances or equipment. So for these reasons, there is this earthing procedure. The story of lightning. 
During a thunderstorm, the air currents move upwards and the water droplets move downwards and this caused due to the separation of charge due to this vigorous motion. As a result of this process, the positive charge collect near the upper edge and the negative charges accumulate near the lower edge of the cloud and also near the ground. So you need to understand that how lightning happens in the sky. So whenever there is a thunderstorm, yani ke tufani barish, the air currents move upwards and the water droplets move downwards. All right. And this causes the separation of charges. Now, as a result, the positive charges collect near the upper edge of the and the negative charges accumulates near the lower edge of the cloud. Okay. कुछ ऊपर आ गए पॉजिटिव कुछ नीचे आ गए नेगेटिव एज द चार्ज गेट्स एक्यूमुलेटेड इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड इंक्रीजेस नाउ वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स इन द एयर एक्ट एज कंडक्टर ऑफ दिस चार्ज दीज चार्जेस फ्लो टू मीट दस और ये चार्जेस जैसे ही फ्लो करना स्टार्ट करें पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव की तरफ अट्रैक्ट होता है सो देर इज दिस फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट एंड यू कैन सी लाइटनिंग इन द स्काई ऑल राइट Now, lightning safety. During lightning and thunderstorm, no open place is safe. No open place. So, hearing thunder is an alert to rush to a safer place. And after hearing the last thunder, wait for some time before coming out of the safe place. Now, how to find a safe place? A house or a building is a safe place because you will be covered. If we are traveling by car or by bus, we are safe inside with windows closed. Okay, of the vehicle. Now, lightning safety do's and don'ts. So there are some do's like if you are outdoors, seek refuge in a car or a grounded building. Avoid tall objects like trees because they can fall down. Suspend activities for at least thirty minutes after the last sound of thunder. There should be no activities. Leave elevated areas such as hills, mountain ridges, or peaks. Get out from ponds, lakes, and any other water entities. And indoors will be avoid plumbing, including sinks, baths, and faucets. The don'ts will be outdoors. Don't lie down on the ground. Don't use a cliff or rocky overhang for shelter. Don't seek refuge under an isolated tree. Don't take baths or showers. Don't wash dishes. Don't use landline phones, switch on televisions, or any other electrical appliances. Stay away from concrete floors or walls. Stay away from windows, doors, and porches. So these things one should keep in mind. Now, lightning conductors, a device used to protect our buildings from the effect of lightning. Bijli chamke to hamari building hamare ghar pe koi asar na hai. For that, you have lightning conductors. And what is a lightning conductor? A metallic rod, taller than the building, is installed in the walls of the building during its construction. One end of the rod is kept out in the air, and the other is buried deep in the ground. Now, the rod provides easy route. to the transfer of electrical charge jab bijli chamak rahi hai aur wo current niche aa raha hai to wo us rod mein se hota hua earth mein chala jayega basically earthing a procedure and your house is saved from lightning now earthquakes a sudden shaking or trembling of the earth which lasts for a very short time that is known as earthquake jo aap jise kehte hain bhukamp that is shaking of the earth now this shaking is uh, a very you know dangerous thing because it causes immense destruction of life and property and it is uncontrollable humans cannot control it even earth can earthquake can cause floods landslides and tsunamis a major earthquake occurred in india on 8th october 2005 in uh, uri and uh, thangai towards you know north kashmir a major earthquake occurred on 26 january 2001 in bhuj gujarat district Now, what causes an earthquake? अब earthquake आता क्यों है? तो so, see, you need to understand this. The outermost, the outermost layer of the earth is not in one piece. It is fragmented, and each fragment is called a plate. ठीक है? ये जो बाहर वाला area आपको दिखाई देता है crust का, this is not one piece. ये अलग-अलग pieces में है. And each piece is known as a plate. Now, what happens when they, when these plates and are in continuation motion aise 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 ghumti rehti hain now when they brush past once again each other to sometimes kya hota hai ek plate dusre plate pe aa jati hai and they collide when they collide wahan pe jahan pe wo collision ho raha hai us jagah pe kya feel hoga shaking of the earth because wo aapas mein takra gayi hain and there will be earthquake which is a disturbance actually in the plates of the earth which causes this earthquake now 
even due to a volcano eruption there can be earthquake even sometimes due to a meteor is hitting the earth there can be an earthquake if there is an underground nuclear explosion there can be an earthquake because all leads to the shaking or the dismantling of the plates of the earth now since earthquake are caused by the movement of the plates the boundaries of the plates are the weak zones when earthquakes are more likely to occur in india the areas most threatened are kashmir western and central himalaya you know and the whole of northeast run of kutch rajasthan and the indo gangetic plain now richter scale richter scale is the scale which tells us the magnitude of the earthquake that it has come out on which magnitude the destruction earthquakes have you know are immense and magnitude having seven or even higher than that value those earthquakes are highly destructive both bhuj and kashmir earthquakes had magnitudes greater than 7.5 on the richter scale now seismic waves so the uh, the tremors or the earthquake produces waves on the surface of the earth and these waves are known as seismic waves now these waves are recorded by an instrument called seismograph this instrument is simply a vibrating object which is having a paper and a uh, pen so that jab wo hilna start karta hai uska pendulum bomb because of the vibrations you know the pen sorry the pen you know makes a kind of a design and through that you know the scientists can construct a complete cause a map of the earthquake ki wo kis level ka aa raha hai wo kaisa aa raha hai kitna destruction hoga so this instrument seismograph is very helpful it estimates the power of destruction now protection against earthquakes ab earthquake se hum apne aap ko kaise bacha sakte hain cons you one should always consult qualified architects and structural engineers that what kind of buildings should be made which are earthquake resistant yani ki aaj ke time pe aap dekhte hain bahut sari buildings hain jo ki earthquake resistant hote hain yani unme bhukamp ke jhatke mehsoos nahi hote hain in highly seismic areas the use of mud or timber is better than using heavy construction material because wo halke hote hain to zyada nuksan nahi hoga it is better if the cupboards and shelves are fixed to the walls rather than they can move ahead Be careful when you hang wall clocks, photo frames. They should not be at the top of your head because अगर ऐसा कुछ हुआ तो वो सीधे आपके ऊपर गिरेंगे. And some buildings may catch fire, so it is necessary that all buildings have fire fighting equipment systems in them. Now the Central Building Research Institute, Roorkee, has developed quick resistant houses. In the event that an earthquake does strike, they can take the following steps. If you are at home. take shelter under a table and stay there till the shaking stops stay away from tall and heavy objects if you are in bed do not get up protect your head with a pillow if you are outdoors find a clear spot away from building trees if you are in a car or bus do not come out as the driver to drive slowly to a clear spot do not come out till the tremors stop so with this we have come to this very enlightening session and i hope that you all have subscribed to the educatops youtube channel if you haven't done so children do it right now if you like our video time to press the like button and ensure to hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates from educatop for your super science teacher ambika it's time to sign out for the day but till the time we meet again be happy be safe and keep enriching yourself with educatop bye bye children